Guys, welcome. Episode two of the 500 pound dream bag series. A series where I try and find a full set of golf clubs, secondhand set, 500 pounds worth in unbelievable condition and quality. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe, leave this video a like as I'm going to give the whole set away at the end of the series to one of you. But before I explain why I'm here, 6.30 in the morning on a Saturday, I better show you where I got this new potential driver from, how much I got it for, and then finally find out if you guys want it in the bag or not, or do I go down a different route? Let's get into it. Simon down here at Burford Golf Club and I've just finished a full day in the shop and I think I've just located the first edition to the 500 pound dream bag. I put it to the community board on the page. A lot of people are saying it is a good idea. Therefore, we've got a four step process. Step number one, I need to get home and get some cash out to go and buy the said club as I found it on Facebook Marketplace. Step number two, I need to get permission from my very pregnant, lovely wife where our baby is due in three days to get the permission to travel and venture out to Guildford to go and pick up said driver. Number three, we need to find the condition and see what it's like because even though it looks great on top and on the face and on the bottom, it doesn't look, I need to see what kind of condition it is. And step number four, come back here tomorrow to review it, test it, and then get your guys' opinion whether it goes in the bag or I sell it off. Okay, step one complete. We have the money, we have got home, and we have acquired the wife. Step two is also complete, because she's uh, very, she is very, and the child as well. She's very much up for it. So obviously exciting times ahead with the baby due in a couple of days, but more importantly, M2 2016 head. How exciting. I've been waiting for one. I put that on my <laughs> Christmas list. I cannot wait to get this driver. <laughs> So we're going to go and drive to Guildford now and go and pick this bad boy up and see what kind of conditions it in. Down anyway. here in Guildford, just about to meet Ricky, who's the gentleman that is obviously selling the driver. And I'm going to obviously try and check what the conditions like. The photos, it looks phenomenal. I'm going to show you some of the photos now. Um, and obviously I've used Facebook Marketplace to find this driver. M2 is one of my favourite heads when it comes down to it's 2016 in terms of aesthetics, looks, sounds, forgiveness. If you've been used to this channel for a while, you know that I do love an M2 2016 head. And this thing is flawless. Now, I've gone in at £80. He kindly accepted. It's on for £100, reduced to £90. Um, uh, but it's a great head. So I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of condition it is because from the photos, it looks great. These things do sell for up to £140 from like um, golf clubs for cash or golf bidder. Um, obviously, the more reputable companies and then anywhere between there and £80. And £80 is a great price. Now, I put it on the community page and a lot of you are like, 55, 45 pounds for this driver. Like if you find one of these drivers, 45 pounds, I don't care what condition it is, you go and buy that bad boy. Anyway, let's talking. I'm gonna go and meet Ricky, see this driver, hand him the money, and then I'll report back. One 2016 M2 driver acquired. Ricky was actually, he's actually subscribed to the channel. He recognized me. So massive shout out to you, mate. Um, I can't wait to show you the condition that this thing's in. So as you can see, the driver is in great condition. Condition. Now it was the silver bit at the bottom that I was worried about because it did look quite warm but I think it's just aesthetics. It's where the blacks basically rubbed off. In terms of the rest of the head, well I'm going to show you when I get back to the studio tomorrow. I'm going to show you obviously in better light. But in terms of the head, this is as good as it comes. I haven't seen many of these, especially for £80, in better condition than this. So I'm really excited. I think this is a great addition to the bag. However, it's going to be up to you guys. If this video has a worse uh, like ratio than 80%, so if it's got 100 likes but 21 dislikes, it won't go in the bag and I'll find another home for it. However, if it's got a higher approval rating than 80% in the like tally, then this is very much going in the bag. And I think it is a good addition um, uh, for the dream bag, the 500 pound set. Anyway, enough looking like a drug dealer under the light post. I'm gonna take this back tomorrow to Burford and we're gonna give it a hit, so I'll see you then. And we're 
way back, however, like an idiot, I forgot the driver yesterday, therefore it is 6.30 on a Saturday morning, hence the dishevelled look. And at the risk of repeating myself, I do want to quickly give your, you guys a better look at this driver because, well, I mean, uh, Ricky, you kept this thing in unbelievable condition or barely hit it. Obviously, we have got the um, wear and tear on the bottom there, but I don't think that's going to affect performance. And when you look down on this thing, you could hardly tell. It looks like it's just come off the shelf, which is amazing. Head cover as well is basically worth £10 because this thing is, even though it's got a few scuff marks, it hardly looks been, like it's been used. I mean, if you look at my M2 head cover, I don't want to show you my M2 head cover. It basically looks like it's been dragged through the dirt. But I do want to quickly go over why I think A, this is my favourite driver and B, why it should go in the bag. Number one, best looking driver in my eyes over the last five years, no question about it. That's my personal opinion. I just think it looks boss. Gold, black, white, what is there not to like? Number two, one of the most forgiving drivers as well that TaylorMade have ever brought out. Now, if you're not new to the channel, I love ping drivers because they are forgiving and they're pretty much great for every golfer. I could pretty much fit ping to every golfer. Whereas, for example, some of the uh, like TaylorMade range or Callaway range, definitely geared towards that faster hitter. However, the M2, I have always liked and the head design has always been good for any player. Whether you're a fast club, head, um, fast swinger of the golf club or a slower swinger of the golf club, the M2, depending on what shaft and loft you get in it, can pretty much perform at any level. Um, and the only reason that I got rid of mine is because I've cracked the face on it and then I got the M2 2017 version, which is still in the bag. Number three, ball speed wise, launch wise, Again, just as good. Now, I'm not saying this is the lowest spinning head ever designed, because it's not, um, and you can definitely get lower spin heads out there. However, for the dream bag, I'm going stiff flex down the board. I've been thinking about this a lot, and I want this bag to hopefully fit a large portion of the public. Therefore, I'm not gonna go X stiff and blades, and I'm not gonna go cavity back graphite um, in the irons, for example. I want this to be stiff through the board, which hopefully means that whoever wins it it will somewhat suit them. Obviously, it's going to be right-handed, so any left-handed people out there, I do apologise. Um, uh, and we've got a stiff flex, 60-gram shaft in this Fujikura. I think it's just a very good middle down the road start for the driver. I like the idea of starting the bag off with the driver as well, because then we can fit around it. That, that leaves us £420, basically, to get a wood, a rescue, irons, wedges, a putter, and a bag. So, let's give it a hit. If you watched yesterday's video, I've still got injury on the hand. Um, but, I mean, I'm not really looking to get maximum distance out of this. All I want to show you guys is what it sounds like uh, and some brief numbers. Um, uh, but overall, it's a good driver head. But let's give it a hit nonetheless. Okay, first thing of the day, quarter to seven in the morning. No warm-ups, no practice. I do not recommend. Did you imagine I just skied the nuts off it? Literally, massive mark down the middle of that pristine head. That would be a disaster. Definitely going to put a bit more weight on the back foot. Okay, right. Let's see where this goes. Oh, snap hook left. It's a rubbish driver. Don't put it in. <laughs> oh, second swing, however. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, we get into that 300 yard mark. Oh, just crept over. 158 ball speed. Perfect launch, perfect spin. You cannot get better than that in my eyes for that ball speed. And it sounded great as well. Sounds great, looks great, goes down the middle. What else do you want from a driver? I'm telling you. See you later. Winner. All day long, carrying the 300 yard mark, or maybe a touch close. Okay, 170 ball speed coming up. Let's see if we can ramp it up a tiny bit, put it to the test. Bit over drawing. But that's long. That is long. Why not? 
three, no, three one nine, one seven three ball speed. Tiny bit high on the launch, but that's probably the flex for me. Just being a tiny bit too flexible. Just love this drive, head wise, sound wise. I mean, I don't want more than three one nine on the course because it's only ever going to go out of bounds. Just like that. <laughs> straight right, straight into the trees. Again, 300 plus, 178 ball speed, push slice. Not bad. I mean, I'm three off the tee, but who cares with that kind of ball speed? Who cares what the score is? <clears throat> I'm finishing there. Can't hit it better than that this time of the day. Cannot hit it better than that. 179 ball speed, 328 in terms of yardage. Winner. So guys, let me know your thoughts. Did I make a good purchase? Personally, if this doesn't go in the bag and you guys don't obviously um, think I should either spend more or spend less, or choose a different drive head or different flex, then so be it, that's what I will go and look for. But if you don't want it, I'm gonna put it in the bag. I'm gonna get an unbelievable shaft and put it in this and it's gonna be my new gamer. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching. See you later.